Hi guys, this is Clara Hudson of Wall They Play Designs, and on today's video, I'm going to be showing you how to create a K2 Tog KB, which is to say a knit two together and then knit in the back. And what if you take a look at this shawl, we have this lace mesh pattern that we've created with a yarn over knit two together. But when we get to the end of the row of this panel of lace mesh, we want to create that same right lean in this design, but we don't want to alter our stitch count. So basically what this stitch does is you will be knitting together, knitting two together to create that lean, and then you'll be also knitting in the back of those stitches. So I'll demonstrate that for you right now. So in my stitch pattern, I'm doing my knit two together yarn over knit two together yarn over and I'm working to the last two stitches of this row right here and instead of knitting two together yarn over I can't end the row that way so I'm going to knit two together to create that right lean and now I'm going to rotate my work and insert my needle into the back of those two stitches again and knit into them and then if you take a look here, you can see we've created that knit two together and knit into the back. So we keep our stitch count the same, but we still maintain that right lean in our lace mesh pattern. So that is how you create the, the K2 TOG KB or the knit two together and knit in back. So I hope this technique helps you guys out. Thanks so much for watching.